Oh man, this movie. No, no, lit, no, I will not tarnish this music by comparing it to the Meg. Thank you. I said no. Hello everybody, welcome back to Drinks in a Movie. Chris Hamker here with you. Today we'll be talking about the Meg. But first, let's start with the drink, of course, and the drink I'm gonna do is the Shark Bite Cocktail. And the Shark Bite Cocktail is pretty easy. There's quite a few ingredients, but it's fairly simple. It's one part light rum or white rum, one part spiced rum, one part simple syrup, one half part blue curacao, uh, one half part lime juice, and a dash of grenadine on the top after you mixed it up to give that kind of blood in the water feel to it. So I've already put the light rum in and we're going to the one part spiced rum and we'll talk about the Meg. The Meg is directed by John Turtletaub and stars Jason Statham as, I mean, he's pretty much the same way he is and the same person he is in every one of his other movies. But this time uh, he's, uh, he's playing a deep sea rescue diver and he rescues people that are trapped in like deep sea submarines uh, and uh, this time he's called upon by a research facility who is going down into the deepest part of the ocean deeper than anyone has ever gone <clears throat> and somebody's stuck down there so they call him and he is gonna go save some people and uh, they of course go too deep and they awaken Wow, a lot of blue. The Meg, a megalodon, a the biggest shark ever. It's a dinosaur. It's like 75 feet, something like that. Jaws was like 15 foot, 25, right? Uh, this thing's huge. And of course, Jason Statham and his team has to stop him. So let's shake this up and see how it is. It's deepest bluest. My hat is like a shark swim. Anybody gets that reference is awesome. It's the deep blue sea. It's a terrible LL Cool J song. All right, we'll sprinkle the grenadine on top. Dash it, as it were. A little more there. All right, here we go. Here is to the Meg and the Shark Bite Cocktail. Cheers, everybody. All right, so I'm gonna to try to sift through this nothing of a movie to find some positives, because I, I really try to do that with every one of my reviews. Uh, the first thing I'll say is the special effects are pretty decent. Uh, there's a pretty good part in this movie where the characters go down to the deepest part of the ocean and you see actually some very beautiful shots of these strange sea creatures and the bioluminescence that they give off that they kind of have to at that, the deepest part of the ocean that they're at, that they're in. Um, also, uh, to be fair and go along with the special effects, there's a really pretty much the only interesting action sequence that involves a, a new type of shark tank that this kind of cylindrical plastic, you know, really uh, hard material that the sharks can't break. Um, but they, they do some stuff there that's interesting and things that I sort of never seen before and uh, things that I was hoping to see throughout the rest of the movie but didn't get. And I'll get into that in a minute. Um, and lastly is the cast. Uh, most of them or part of them are good. I'd say half. All right, three of them were good. Uh, Statham is Statham, like I said before. He doesn't try to do anything new here, but he's pretty much the same thing we'd expect, which is why we like him. Uh, second is Rain Wilson. Rain Wilson plays this billionaire, uh, kind of the uh, Sam Jackson character from Deep Blue Sea. It's really similar. Um, and he seems to be the only one who knows what kind of movie he's in. He, he knows he's in a Saturday afternoon sci-fi giant shark movie um and he tries to play that up uh as much as he could but he's not really given much to you know to 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 do and his his lines aren't very funny but he he, he gives it his best shot and i think he does a, a fine job uh, lastly is this guy cliff curtis 
Uh, he is amazing. He's the type of guy that nobody knows his name, but they know they've seen him in a ton of stuff. He can give weight to the most hollow of characters, and he's not given much, but he 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 does it so well that you really buy into everything he's saying, and I really appreciate that. Okay. This movie, let's get into some negatives. This movie commits the cardinal sin of movies, and it's not that it's bad, you'd probably think that, but it's that it's boring. I almost fell asleep three times during this, during this movie, and I don't normally do that. Uh, it takes literally 50 minutes before you get to see any kind of Meg. I, 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 50 minutes, that's not good. Not only do, do they kind of meander and, 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 and flounder about, pun intended, Terrible pun intended, uh, but they 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 also shoehorn in a really nonsense conflict between the characters that goes nowhere. There's also a terrible kind of pseudo romance that's supposed to happen. Another subplot that also goes nowhere and has no place in this movie. Um, I mean. This movie, I came out. I went to, went to this movie with a friend, and we came out of it, and we and I kind of looked at him, and he was like, "So what'd you think?" And I, I was like, "It's it, it was boring." And with a movie called The Meg, starring Jason Statham, uh, uh, about a killer prehistoric giant shark, the last thing I thought it was going to be is boring. This movie just didn't know what it wanted to be. And that's the worst part about it. It didn't know whether it wanted to be a movie for everybody or an R-rated movie because it looked like it wanted to do both. It, it, it kind of had a choice. It could go full crazy camp goofiness like Sharknado. I mean, how many of these are there now? Like four of them, right? Two, three four, five, six, Jesus, stop making these. Just stop it, no more, no more Sharknados. Uh, or they could go the other route, like the hard R, gore entertainment, and uh, other things that, you know, some audiences might like, like a, like a Piranha 3D or Piranha 3DD. I watch those movies for the articles. So, I mean, or they could just go somewhere in between, like a Deep Blue Sea. Uh, Deep Blue Sea is not a good movie. I just rewatched it the other day, and it is ridiculous. But it it, it uh, it's fun, it's entertaining, and it's it, it's it's got kind of a bit of heart, and it also is pretty subversive. There's some things that really surprise you in that movie, and this movie, The Meg, doesn't surprise you. It doesn't entertain you. It's just a boring slog that I just wanted to end uh, for so long. It's way too long, too. It's almost two hours long. Uh, so, yeah, this is a non-recommend for me. Don't go see it. So that's, uh, that's it. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Um, if you like this, please like, sh share, and subscribe down here at the bottom. Cheers, everybody. Have a drink on me. Bye-bye.